Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here and oh y'all, we are switching gears to something I have been really enjoying more so than anything over the past like two months, really. If y'all haven't noticed, for those that follow me on Instagram, you probably already can tell, I have another obsession. Yes, and it involves the nose. Yes, it does. And that other obsession is fragrance. Duh, hello. That's why y'all get fragrance of the day on here, which I will be getting into later. Y'all know that. Today, I specifically want to share with you all my three fave summer vacay scents that I am loving, that I will be packing with me when I go on my own summer vacation. I'm so excited about this. And yeah, I feel like, you know, I just need to share this lovely information because I get a lot of questions about um, fragrance. A lot of people DM me now more so and whatnot. So, you know what? I want to start talking a little bit more about fragrance because, hey, y'all know if it smells good, I love it. Just like I love candles, I'm going to talk about how I love fragrance. And if something's good, something's great, I'm going to talk about it. If it ain't good, it ain't great, I'm also going to let you know. So without further ado, let's take care of a little bit of housekeeping and then we'll get into those fragrances. First things first, lipstick of the day we are doing. This is, this was a limited edition lipstick. Like I really hate myself for not buying two of these. Like I need to, but anyway, I can't get it anyway. This is the Barbie style lipstick. So when Mac and Barbie did a whole collaboration, this was the limited edition lipstick that came out. This came out last summer, yay, during the penny, during the lockdown, and I had to have it. It is so Barbie. And this color is so flattering. Like, I love this lipstick. I mean, I'm definitely having a pink moment today. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Fragrance of the day is none other than Coco Mademoiselle by the House of Chanel, of course. And this is the Eau de Parfum, the intense version. Yes, Coco Mademoiselle, the intense version, honey. So good so strong and it leaves a trail we love that <laughs> so let's get into my three summer vacay scents first scent i picked up this one I, this was a fourth of july purchase i mean i have been i've been obsessed with this scent since i smelled it when i went to atlanta back in the spring i was like no i don't want to get it i don't want to get it i don't need it i don't need it i don't need it but you know, this scent is so good. Then I was able to smell it again on a trip to Sephora, like shortly after I got back from that trip. And I was like, yeah, this is good. I put it on the skin, this is so good. Now, the scent is actually very polarizing in the fragrance world, but anywho, I think it's amazing. But yeah, that is none other than Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. Yes, Bitter Peach, it's so good. Ugh. So good, I love the box, I love the bottle, I love it. Bitter Peach is freaking amazing. I'm gonna read you all the notes. The notes in Bitter Peach are peach, blood orange, cardamom, heliotrope, rum, cognac, divana, jasmine, Indonesian patchouli leaf, vanilla, sandalwood, tonka bean, cashmere, benzoin, I can't pronounce that. Styr yeah, Styrex, Labdanum, and Velveter. So you got a lot going on in here, you all. This thing is very, it's sweet, but boozy and earthy. When I say it's so good, this, I, I highly recommend this scent. This is going to be dinner, dinner time dates, and that's what we'll be wearing Bitter Peach for. Y'all, this scent is so freaking good. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people love, a lot of people talk about Lost Cherry more, which I do own, but Bitter Peach has way more better, it has way better lasting power, way belly, it, has, it leaves a way, it leaves a stronger trail, it smells so good. This is one of those scents that you smell it initially, you might hate it, but this is a scent you have to let dry down. You smell it, it's like, woof. Come back to it five minutes later, let it rest on the skin, you're like, oh my God. Oh, she's everything. That's Bitter Peach. So I'd highly recommend if you've been like, I don't know about Bitter Peach, it's kind of dirty smelling. Actually spray it on your skin and let it sit on there for some for some time. Yeah, you won't be disappointed. It's so good. <laughs> the next scent I picked up, and I think this one is more so for the casual vibe. This one is by Macy Margiela and from that from his replica scents line. And this is Beach Walk. I was able to catch their summer bundle deal on this. So I was able to get both of these for much less 
than what they normally cost. I forgot the pricing. But yeah, I caught a deal on it that they were running on their actual website. And you know, this stuff shipped in like two days. So I was like, okay. I like I like ordering directly from them. That was great. Beach Walk on the box, it has um original originality is Beach Walk. Okay, Province and Period, Calvary 1972, Fragrance Description, Sun Kiss Salty Skin. Memories and a fragrance. So if you don't know about the um, replica line, they're all about scent memories. So they smell very authentic and they supposed to evoke like pastime memories, hence the name of what they are. So they, they don't have like, they don't have sexy names. They just have very straight to the point names, hence, hence right now, Beach Walk. Cause it's supposed to smell like a walk on the beach. Straight to the point, I like it. And this is what the bottles look like. So this is the big bottle, the, the big 100 mil. That's what that looks like. And this is the travel size that also comes with it, which I like because I like to have my, my purse size with me because your girl will refresh when she goes to the powder room, okay? So the notes in Beach Walk are lemon, bergamot, pink pepper, coconut milk, ylang ylang, heliotrope, musk, benzoin, and cedar. Quite frankly, this smells like a nice sunscreen with some salt and sun mixed in. That's what it smells like. That's why, so for me, this would be more of a casual daytime scent. I actually do plan to wear this on the beach, straight up. This is very much t-shirt, flowy, like maybe linen, some sandals, you just don't care. Messy hair, you don't care, whatever. But you still wanna have a little, little something about yourself. That's what this scent is. So yeah, this is daytime chill. I like it. <laughs> And then the last scent, quite frankly, most people consider this the ultimate summer in a bottle fragrance. I have to agree with this. I had to track this down and I'm so excited. I just added this one literally a week ago and I'm still hyped about it. I was like, ah, yes, I'm so, so excited. So much to the point, I have the trifecta of this scent. That is none other than Tom Ford Sole Blanc, honey. Right here, oh yes. I was excited when I meant by the trifecta. Um, what I mean by the trifecta is I have not only, I have the, the fragrance, which is an Eau de Parfum. This is from Tom Ford's Private Blend, just like Bitter Peaches from the Private Blend collection. I don't know if I mentioned that. Then I also have the Travel Spray. Mm -hmm. And then I even got the Coveted so pretty and so gorgeous i got the shimmering body oil as well that has the scent in it too honey yes since i showed the boxes of the others i will show the boxes of these i mean the packaging is just so luxurious summer honey get into these packagings yes i need to be on a yacht somewhere right now like oh, oh my goodness anywho let's get into the notes of tom ford soleil blanc it's so freaking good okay the notes in soleil blanc are Pistachio, bergamot, cardamom, pink pepper, tuberose, ylang ylang, and jasmine, coconut, amber, tonkamine, and benzoin. You all, this just smells like luxurious coconutty dash of sunscreen. That's what it smells like. So Beach Walk is the casual sunscreen scent. Soleil Blanc is the all white affair champagne toast on the boat, honey, on the yacht, private cabana. Uh, yes, Villa, the yes, this is Tom Ford, so LeBlanc, honey, mm. she gives me all, of, <laughs> oh yes, yeah, she gives me all of that, and yes, mm, yes, she's so high class, <laughs> so high class, <laughs> like, I was sleeping on some LeBlanc, I was like, it can't be all that, it can't be all that, and oh, by the way, a lot of people try to say that Soleil Blanc and, like, Beach Walk are, like, basically the same scent, I'll say this, they're cousins, but they are not identical twins at all. Again, this is the bougie cousin that comes down for a holiday but stays at a hotel, don't wanna stay in the family house. Mm -hmm, that's Soleil Blanc. Whereas this is the cousin that's willing to sleep on the old pullout couch, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the best way to break down the two. Yes, they are related, but they just rock. They just roll very, very differently. <laughs> but I had to have both in my collection. I love that. So, all right, you all, that wraps up my three summer vacation scents. Yes, they will be going with me when I do go on vacay. Yes, they give me all the vibes that I need. Again, casual beach walk. Luxurious brunch. Yes, all white affair. Uh-huh. 
And then Sexy Date Nights. Time for a bit of peach, honey. So good. So grown. I gotta I got sniff this right now. It's just that good. Uh, oh, ooh. that's so good. So freaking good. But all right, you all, until the next time, that wraps up this video. And then, yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Bye, y'all.